So I recently returned from a book signing tour, and my two-year-old daughter runs up to me super excited, and she looks me in the eye and goes, Daddy, don't be a Minosaurus. So keep that image of this fictitious Minosaurus in the back of your mind for the next 18 minutes. But on another trip, I was really honored to be invited to South Africa. And one of the other speakers there was the great Nelson Mandela. So during his amazing speech, he mentioned a quote from Maya Angelou that went something like this. In life, people will forget what you said. They'll forget what you did. But they'll never forget how you made them feel. So I sat there in awe and thought to myself, that's just wrong. (laughs) In the digital age, that is not correct. But who am I to question that? So for the next four years, my team and I conducted extensive research around how are people going to remember all of us in this digital age? And whether it was our interviews with a CEO or a soccer mom or a senator or a school teacher, everyone had three pressing questions, three very important questions. And those questions were, in this crazy hyper-connected world, how do I achieve my best life, leadership, and legacy? Life, leadership, legacy. Now, historically, if you were to be made into a traditional postage stamp, you had to do something amazing. You had to be a celebrity or do something great or do both. But the shift that we've seen is that all of us today are many digital celebrities. We're all leaving a digital stamp today, tomorrow, five years from now, 50 years, 500 years from now. So the question was, what exactly is this digital stamp comprised of? And it turns out it's comprised of two things. It's comprised of digital footprints, and it's comprised of digital shadows. Now, your digital footprint is anything that you upload about yourself. That's a text, a tweet, a post. So you somewhat have control over your digital footprint. But the more important part of that equation is your digital shadow. That's what others post about you online. And it might be your offline activity or your online activity. Yes, it might be your offline activity. That's why in 2008 I wrote in the book, What Happens in Vegas Stays on YouTube. (laughs) So if we have this monumental shift to where we're all creating a digital stamp, what do the best digital leaders today do to leave their best stamp, to lead their best life, legacy, and leadership? So it turns out they all practice and embrace five habits, five simple habits. And conveniently enough, it forms the acronym of STAMP. And so those five habits are simple. It's not about adding stuff to our lives. It's about taking away. T is for true. you got to follow your passions. Then success will follow. A is for act. Nothing happens without action. We need to take that first step. M is for map. We need to have a firm destination in mind but we also need to be flexible in our path on how we get to that destination. And lastly, P is for people. We need to blanket ourselves with the right people, both offline and also online. So let's start with the first one, S for simple. So please, by a show of hands, how many of you think you're pretty good at multitasking? I've got my hand raised. Okay, I just made liars out of all of us. It turns out in our research, the neuroscience shows that actually human beings can't multitask. We can't parallel process two creative tasks at once like a, like a computer can. Instead, we switch between tasks. So we're not really multitasking. We're just switching between tasks. And that switch has a cost and efficiency as our brain tries to determine if we're multitasking on three different creative tasks, which one's the most important? Which one should I switch to? Which one should I be working on? So ironically enough, we're doing the exact opposite of what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to leave this great digital stamp, so we think we need to do more. We need to beat Father Time, yet Father Time is undefeated. 
And so we do that multitasking. We're actually making ourselves less efficient. We're doing the exact opposite of what we're trying to do. How bad is it? Your IQ drops in the moment 10 points when you're multitasking. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't afford to give up 10 points off my IQ. <laughs> the other thing, if you look at that, that's the equivalent of not sleeping for 36 hours, which has twice the effect of smoking marijuana. Now, I don't want you to leave those doors today going, that was the greatest TED Talk ever. He told us, go smoke some pot. No, I want you to use that as a mnemonic to remind yourselves when you catch yourself multitasking, it's a good mnemonic to remember you're actually being less efficient. And I can say that because I'm a recovering multitasker. <laughs> so let's look at T. This is for true. Now, a lot of leadership books, they talk about envision your funeral and what do you want people to say about you at your funeral, what you want your legacy to be. Well, we don't have to wait for our funeral in this day and age because we can just Google ourselves to figure out what people are saying about us. And I won't ask you to raise your hands about if you've Googled yourself. It's called a vanity search, and we've all done it. But if you'll entertain me for a second, I'll pull out your mobile devices. And some of you are going, pull it out. I never put it away. <laughs> but if you can, for the next 30 seconds, I want you to write out what you want your digital stamp to be. What do you want people to find on Google this afternoon, tomorrow, five years, 50 years, 500 years from now? What's the mark on this world that you want to leave starting today? So if you would, for the next 30 seconds, type that out. You can send it to me, so that's out there in the public domain. I'm equal man across the board. And so equal man at Twitter, equal man Gmail, Yahoo. Or if you're not, as you can see, I'm not wearing tights or a cape, but I do have a $10 t-shirt. But if you can... Send it to your mom, your dad, whatever you're comfortable with. But just take the next 30 seconds. I'm going to be quiet because I just told you you can't multitask.